Hi and welcome to my playhouse and to the creepy basement. We are down here and we're going to be fiddling with some lights because, uh, well, I made a very popular video many, many, many years ago and I am exactly lying because I made a video when I just started this YouTube channel putting up this light over here and um, yeah, it's not working anymore and there's a very simple reason for that and it's because the light bulb has um, has blown out and I did kind of start this project without you but uh, it's a fluorescent light it uses uh, these Philips 15 watts light bulbs this one well I think if we put it in it might be blinking it's really annoying let's see if there's any light in this seems really dead hmm let me just ensure that I turned on the light yep light was on so this is dead as a doornail and I do remember it in a video blinking in the background which was really annoying I have another one of these lights um, because I purchased a new a new light bulb for it and this one is an LED and it's a uh, LED T8 TUBE and this one is 6 watts so it's uh, well this one was 15 this one is 6 so it should use a lot less power so it should be able to go in here and like uh, that would be a bad choice um, that way <laughs> so um, yeah but then I was well firstly I was unwrapping it and I thought I'll just cut the end of the of the wrapping and uh, there was next to no packaging in this one so I, my, my bread and butter so my bread knife made a little scarring here but I did notice in good time that this was wrong but I also noticed that this says L and this says N so that's probably neutral and this is a uh, line or I'm not entirely sure what the L stands for but it uh, came to mind that I think um, in these light bulbs they get power on each of them uh, one of them is, is and one of them is neutral and the other one is line I'm not entirely sure so to make sure that I was not messing anything up I took my spare lamp here uh, and I'm, I'm looking through what how this works so um, I think I can use this one to figure out how everything works so that I don't need to mess with it on the one it's much easier on the table here to make sure what I need to do and um, my guess is that if I put positive on one end and negative on the other end well, positive on this end and negative on this end it will light up and be a very nice light and um, if I power this one and this one, it will blow my fuses. So, um, yeah, I did go and check with a multimeter, which has a beep beep, and it seems like beep 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 there. But then again, so does this. So um, I'm a bit confused here if that's how so that's why this is taken apart I need to figure out if uh, if one end is positive negative and the other end is the other thing so yeah I'm gonna try and follow the wires here and see what we can what I can come up with how this works okay this looks very complicated because there used to be a lot of stuff going on in here um, power is is connected through this wire comes in this one has an outlet as well we're not and we're not bothered with that at all but um, we do get the power in here there is a ground there is a neutral and there is a, uh, a live wire there the brown one is, is kind of supposed to be the live one and it has this nice little um, clip here 
that everything goes into so it's very easy to do stuff with it so the neutral wire goes in here and there's like four things that goes out of it most of them is not important the blue one goes over to this thing same goes with this black one down here that also goes just to the extension thing that also just goes to the to the socket here so I like that socket that's why I, I have these lamps I thought that was a nice feature to have a lamp with an extra socket in them most of it we don't need when we are replacing it with an LED there's a capacitor here that's not needed there is a big power supply something something that converts to 230 volts up to um, and higher voltage um, might want to take that out it's we're not going to be needing it but what we need is the white wires the white wires goes to the end uh, this one and this one and we just want to make it so that it's the most easy for us to do so what we're gonna do this one goes that way uh, and ends up down here and we need uh, we need that to come out here so we're gonna cut this one up here and put it in in here the first white wire comes from the neutral one and it just goes directly into this end then the other one goes up here to this um, I forget what this makes like a sh 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 this increases the voltage for a very short amount of time to get the lamp started um, I'm not sure what that's it's a glimptener på dansk it's a glimptener on Danish I have no idea what it's called in English I'm sure I've heard it before but I have also forgotten and um, so it's um, getting power up to this end that is gonna be funny so we need to unfortunately oh it comes out okay so we need to check if this is easy to get out so we will take these wires and we'll make uh, I want if I can if I can it would be very nice to have uh, power on both of them so we're gonna we're gonna cut this and then we're gonna take those two wires and put them together and uh, put some electric tape around them but it's not this lamp where we're gonna be doing it to it's the lamp that is up under the ceiling so we need to make it easy because it's it's dreadful to work with that one so I'll be cutting this one wrapping it around this one so we'll uninsulate it wrap it around maybe give it a solder joint I don't know and some electric tape so that will that one will go to the neutral so that one will be neutral and then we'll use this wire that goes up this way and put that into uh, uh, to that one remove this thing there yeah I think I got it oh, I think I forgot uh, the video that I did about putting up this lamp did horribly uh, I think I was doing that joke and forgot to finish it so, uh, but I did it, and it's a many years ago, so I thought I'll be... Oh, what is that? Some piece of plastic has broken off. So, uh, throw that out. And I do believe that I can measure the wall church, which shouldn't very well be there. If I put the multimeter in that hole and that hole, and we have 231 volts. Uh, so clearly, I haven't uh, turned it off. I thought I had, so good thing I measured that. Okay, so let's try that again. Come on. Ah, 231 volts. Hmm, that's not supposed to be there. Ah, dang it. I should have watched my video. Uh, I just saw this cable coming in. Well, that's actually not the cable coming in, that's the cable going out. 
the cable coming in is over there that comes from um, from upstairs so this lamp I uh, placed here to be a junction box so that wire from up there comes in goes into this thing there and then it goes over and becomes well this this socket over here as well uh, I do remember now I had some loose hanging wires up here under the ceiling and they had just the right height so when I was over here I was rubbing my head against these so I thought well we'll put in something to uh, to remove the wires and and that became this light so I need to go cut the connection for this on the breaker okay power is off we're on studio lamps so I'm gonna measure if I got this seems like power is gone I'm only measuring like half a watt uh, I'm down here in my slippers if I was gonna get electrocuted that would be pretty bad so I'm gonna go and change to some shoes with a bed with a bit of sole I'm taking the transformer out of here I'm never gonna need that again and I already dropped the screw down the well <sighs> which was just awesome <laughs> uh, I wasn't supposed to do that it just happened so that's gonna be a lot more space in here without this can I take the wiring out? Uh, I can. Uh, but probably not the way that I... Probably not the way it was intended. Hmm. Okay. So we have this thing. I'm not gonna need that either. And I'm gonna take these two wires. I'm gonna put those together as one. We're gonna just do some, we'll do a bit of cutting here, some cutting itch. There. I have connected this, and it goes over to the to the uh, brown wire. So that's the that's the L side. And I have collected this, and that goes into the blue side, so that's the end wire. And I think I'm ready to go and try and turn this on at the fuse box. And my UPS is um, happily complaining. Let's see if it's, if it's doable. Didn't complain too much. I will turn this one off. So. Good. Okay, so how much of a waste of time was this? Let's see if we can blow some shit up. And it might be off. Okay, it's alive. Uh, that's nice. It, it actually works. <laughs> that was a lot of hassle for a for a lamp. I'll turn it off again. I need to mount the plates and stuff inside. Okay. So in this way. What we need to mount this thing. So it has this very nice reflective metal thing that is absolutely not needed now because there's nothing to reflect that way anymore. But yeah, we gotta put it on anyway.
it's very often very nice to have a little bit of extra light down here when I'm filming. I could have done with a with one that was more powerful than six watts, but I actually wasn't able to find any. So six watts, it became. Just this size is not even normal. It's kind of rare, so. <sighs> Yeah, this was a tiny project, but it had been bucking me for ages. Yeah, very nice. I do have a, do have a cloth here. Might try and make it look nicer. Now that is up there again. So um. Kind of a bit too much for this lamp to do another guest appearance in a video, but yeah, it's um, it's the small jobs that you need to do to improve your your life here. And I will try and find the old video of me doing this lamp back in the day because uh, it doesn't make much sense right now. But it was a big job to get this piece of crap up there in the first place. So um, and it's very convenient to have that outlet right not that I use it very often because it's it's kind of in the way but there is always power on that even when I turn on and off the light so a very short video of me uh, fixing my lamp and putting in a uh, LED instead that LED came directly from China because I couldn't find it anywhere here and if we turn off the studio lights we can see just it doesn't give out that much light, but it should be enough for me to find stuff in my little cabinets back here and mess around with the booster pump and stuff. So um, I started this video yesterday and I turned off everything and then I went to have a think about what was going on. And I forgot the booster pump was on one of the switches that I have turned off. So when I got up this morning, there was like this much left before my basement would be flooded again. So. Yeah, I got lucky there. That's why this lamp project suddenly got rust a little bit. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do check out the very old video of me installing this lamp when the basement was really crap. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.